Okay, the second one is a classic. It's important. It is an important problem. Hindi kayo papasa ng 71 kung di nyo nakita to, di ba? The ballistic pendulum. A bullet of mass MB makes a complete inelastic collision with a block of wood of mass MW, which is suspended like a pendulum. After the impact, the block swings up to some maximum height Y. In terms of Y, MB, MM, and MW, what is the initial speed V1 of the bullet? So um, the ballistic pendulum is usually used to measure the speed of a particular bullet. Ganun siya, yun talaga siya ginagawa. So, sa, for example, sa ballistics, halimbawa, yun yung hinaha. Para, para ma-measure nila yung velocity ng isang um, bullet, they use the ballistic pendulum as an example, as a, as a way to measure it. And actually, medyo straightforward yung ginagawa. So, now, the question is, how do we solve this problem? Observe here. Okay, sige, let, um, maybe a minute to, to, for you to, um, to think of how to solve this problem. And then after that, we'll go to um, solving this problem. Okay. Okay, so maybe a minute has elapsed. Uh, let's solve this problem. Kung mapapansin nyo, actually, ginawin ko na dito. Um, mapapansin nyo dito. So, pwede, pwede ka mag-define. So, sandali, explain ko kung bakit ganyan yung ginawa ko. So, um, there are three situations that are happening. First, yung bullet, gumagalaw yung sambilos. So, let's say, let's say that's the first state of the system. Our system is the bullet and the wood. So the bullet wood system is here. Um, the first state of the system is that the bullet moves with some velocity. Let's say you have V1. Okay, that V1 is unknown. Di natin alam yan. Um, and then second, after that, the second state is that the bullet collides with the with the um um collides with the with the wood and that um that system in, um, gains some velocity v2. So the bullet collides with the wood and the system gains some velocity. Okay, then after that the bullet wood system is lifted. So this is the second state. Um, we will assume that this the, the initial height of the bullet of the of the pendulum is y equals zero. We will set that as y equals zero. So etong etong height na ito, siya yung magiging y equals zero. Yeah, this is my y equals zero. Okay. Gets gets, and then third, what happens is what. Of course, what will happen is it's a pendulum, it will be lifted at some height. At some height, let's say it's y. So um the bullet, uh, the bullet, the, the pendulum is lifted by some height. Y. Okay, so you have three states. So, so this is the third state. Nakuha? Nakuha to? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now, after that, so um, um, can we relate the the uh? Remember the first one, the first two states. So, pwede mo isipin na nagcollide yung nagcollide yung yung bullet in sa So there is a collision. Um, uh, in states one and two. Hence, what can you say about it? Ano masasabi natin? Ano pwede natin gawin? Hence, what? The conservation of momentum can be used. Okay. However, in state 2 and 3, may collision bang nangyari? May collision bang nangyari sa state 2 and 3? May collision bang nangyari? Walang nangyari collision sa state 2 and 3. Therefore, you don't need to use conservation of momentum there. However, there is a change in the height of the system. And therefore, may nangyari some, for some velocity na nag-change. Therefore, there's a kinetic energy. Nag-change siya into some potential energy. And hence, um, uh, to relate states 2 and 3, use conservation of mechanical energy. Okay? So, yun yung uunahin natin. Let's first do this. So, so let V2 be the velocity of the of the pendulum initially. Pendulum here is the combined um is the wood 
plus the bullet. No? Para lang para lang malinaw. Kasi pwede ko sabihin, ay yung pendulum, initially at rest yan eh. Ang sinasabi ko dito, pendulum ay magkasama na yung good shakawa bullet. Just para lang mapaikse. <laughs> okay? So by conservation of energy, E2, this energy at state 2, is equal to the energy at state 3, and therefore we have one half. Remember, you have a wood plus bullet. Therefore, the total, the mass that we will be considering here is the total mass of the system, which is the mass of the wood plus the mass of the bullet. So, you have one of MW plus M bullet V2 squared plus MG Y2 equals one half MW plus MV quantity V3 squared plus MG Y3. Now, what can we say about the initial velocity of, or the velocity, um, the, the, sorry, the initial height of um or the height of the of the pendulum at state two. Ano masasabi natin dyan? Ano masasabi natin? Zero. Zero, correct. Because we said we said it that way. So zero to dapat. Then what can we say about the final velocity at state three? Zero then. Zero then, syempre. Kasi huminto na yung object, it goes at some height y. So this is now zero also. And uh, this shouldn't be M. This should be M, B, M, W, plus M, B. Sorry for that. G, Y, 3. Okay? And um, of course, these masses will just, will just cancel, giving us the following relationship. 1 half B, 2 squared equals G, Y, 3. But what Y, 3 is some height Y, some G, Y. And hence, um, this means that hence, B, 2 is simply square root of 2, GY. So, alam natin yung square root of 2GY na yung lumalawas lang sa energy relations. Yan. Now, we already have the velocity after the collision. This is also the velocity after the collision. Okay? Now, since there are multiple states, um, for states 1 and 2 to relate, 1 and 2, use conservation of momentum. So we have, I will be using the notation, the first notation, as if there are three states, para hindi nakakalito. M1, V1, um, sorry, this should be M, bullet, V, bullet, state one, plus M, um, wood, V, wood, state one, equals the sum of them, M, B, plus M, W, sum, final state, V2. Okay? So ganun yung ginawa ko. Para lang hindi tayo malito sa final velocity. Now, what is the initial velocity of the wood? Wood ha, wood. So, di pa tumatama yung bullet. What is the initial velocity of wood? Zero. Zero, of course. So, therefore, um, solving for VB1, which is the velocity of the bullet at the first state, which is now we set as V1, um, we see that V1 is just equal to what? V1 is simply MB plus MW over MB multiplied by V2, which is just equal to the quantity 1 plus MW over MB multiplied by square root of 2 GY. Uh, so right ko na lang, V1 is simply 1 plus MW over MB quantity square root of 2 GY. This is just the initial velocity of the bullet before the collision. And that is what we want. Okay, hence, uh, we already obtained our expression for V1 in terms of the, the height for which the pendulum, the height reached by the pendulum and the masses of the bullet and the wood. Okay, questions? So, may tanong? May tanong ba rito? Yes. Not. Okay, thank you. Okay. 